Hi everyone, welcome to our webinar about our master's program in computer and information science. So my first question is, can you hear and see me? Can you write in the chat box short answer? Okay. Yes, yes. Perfect. So then let's start with our webinar presentation. Uh, we will answer your questions. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat box. And once the presentation is over, we will be answering your questions afterwards. So let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Maria Hesse, and I'm the coordinator for International Master's Program and also for international affairs, internationalization. And today I would like to tell you a little bit about our master's program. I see one question if a professor is uh, presenting this presentation. It's not, I'm not a professor. I'm a study program coordinator, but I hope we will be able to answer your questions. So, like I said, I'm your host for today, and uh, I do have another colleague who will write down and um, pre-select your questions, which we will be answering afterwards. So, the most important question, why studying computer and information science at Constance? Okay, speak a little bit louder, of course, we will do so. Um, so, why would you study with us? Um, first of all, I don't know whether you have maybe visited our homepage already or not. Um, what is quite uh, unique in our department is that all our research groups that do research um, have a common research field. And that is the exploration, analysis and visualization of large information space. Or to shorten it up, uh, we have specialized in the big field of data science. So if you're interested in data analysis and data visualization or exploration, then um, Constance is your place to go because we are like the only department in Constance that really has such a big focus on data science. Um, yeah, our program has three or four specialities. First of all, um, as a research-driven program and as a research-oriented university, research obviously plays a big part in our university and also in our study program. And along with this comes uh, what we call our mentoring program, which means in the beginning of your first semester, you choose a professor as your mentor, as your academic supervisor, who will then guide you through your studies, who will help you pick a project which you like, and who will also um, guide you through your master thesis. So in a way, it is a little bit like you would be a part of a research community research group. Study specialization is another factor. So we are just having one master's program, but many options to specialize. Um, um, we're coming to the next slide, and I will talk about um, the study specializations in detail. High tech labs, of course, is a standard, and I will talk a little bit about um, our labs and uh, research facilities that we have here. And our master students can use these labs and facilities. So it's not like for presentation, but you really can use these um, different kind of tech labs for um, your research, for your master thesis, and for your master project. And like I said, um, the University of Constance is a research-oriented university, and so you will find research-driven teaching in our department if this is what you're interested in. So it's very practical-oriented and has a strong research focus. So. Um, I already mentioned the um, specializations um, that we have in our departments or the areas of specializations, the profiling options that you have here. That is, for instance, big data or data science. It's a, quite a popular area of specialization. Digital libraries, interactive systems, network science systems, and visual computing. Um, students or prospective students very often ask what kind of uh, courses are related to this area of specializations. What we have here in our department is that we don't offer fixed, a fixed course program for, for each semester. So students have a 
uh, quite a lot of flexibility and quite a lot of freedom, they can choose their courses for each semester, which means we cannot really offer you um, a fixed profile with fixed courses. This is against our nature, our research nature, but you do have a mentor with whom you can discuss the courses and with whom you can decide on in which direction to profile. So don't worry, we will not leave you alone. And um, students really like this a lot, that they have a lot of freedom of choice, um, believe me. Um, maybe one more thing about the specialization areas. Of course, all the courses, like I said, we do uh, common research in um, data science are somehow linked to the profile. So don't worry about finding adequate courses. Um, so the master's program in detail. What are the facts? Well, what you earn is a, a Master of Science, and you can start or enroll in the winter semester and in the summer semester, which is quite unusual in Germany. Usually, you find enrollment only for the winter semester. It's a two-year program or four-semester program, and we do not have any um, admission restrictions, but we do have certain admission requirements, which I will talk about in a minute. Requirements like English proficiency proof and uh, um, a relevant study program and so on. You can earn 120 credits and the program is totally taught in English. So this is how um, the structure would look like of our master's program. So you can see the big part, the light bluish part, uh, the so-called advanced area of study and the supplementary area of study is um, the area you can choose your courses um, on your own. Um, like I said, right from the very beginning, you can choose courses uh, from our department and you can sort of um, shape your own profile. And the, um, the light bluish part, the advanced area of study is the part where you choose courses from our department, which is 60 credits. And by supplementary area part of studies is meant that you can also pick courses from other departments or other disciplines. For instance, if you're interested in um, studying a major minor combination, saying you would like to add some economics courses, some linguistics courses or whatever, you could do this with 17 additional credits. Sometimes, for instance, if you choose digital libraries or any other profile, um, you are requested by your mentor to even choose courses from other departments, for instance, from psychology or linguistics. So in a way, you're not only studying within the computer science departments, but you look a little bit broader and also choose courses from other departments. Um, in the third and the fourth semester, in the third semester, you start your project, which is the practical part for um, your thesis, the practical foundation. So it's quite a heavy project, a research-driven project, will, which will be, like I said, the foundation for the thesis, which is then um, writing down the evaluation and the results. And that would be then two years of studying a master's program. So um, I already mentioned it. We don't have admission restrictions, but uh, certain requirements. So you do need a, a relevant degree in computer science or information engineering or any relevant subject, which we will be evaluating during the application examination process. Sufficient grade, good or better, means uh, in a German grading system at least a 2.5. I know it's always a problem to convert the grades. We only do this during the application examination process, but um, there is a, a link to a homepage where you can do an, um, a grade conversion, an uncommittal grade conversion, where you can see whether you're um, yeah, matching the results or not, which I can um, send you afterwards if you contact me. So, But the official grade conversion can only be done during the application process, so for, for your understanding. Letter of, uh, rec not a letter of recommendation, sorry, this is wrong here. What we expect is a letter of motivation, so not a recommendation, but we want your own words, we want your own opinion, why you want to study with us. English proficiency proof and um, the GRE test is mandatory for students who own a non-Bologna degree. So if you're from a Bologna university, which is um, Europe and or Eurasia in a way, um, and you do not need the GRE 
Um, if you're not from a Bologna university, then you need it here. So, like I said, you can enroll in the winter and in the summer, which means the um, application period will start in the beginning of April. And for those who require a visa for Germany, um, you can apply for our master's program until May 15th. If you do not require a visa for Germany, uh, or you live in Germany already, or any other reasons, then you can apply until 15th of June. So it's really not... Um, and disadvantage, but it really is necessary to um, um, start applying for your visa in time. This is why we have this flexible application periods. Uh, I don't know if you have um, listened to the presentation about how to apply for the University of Constance, but just in a few words, um, it's a three-step process. You register, then you start an online application, and in the end, you sort of generate and print out an admission form, a form of uh, application for admission form, which you then sign and send to the universities along with the other documents that are required, like your English proficiency proof, your letter of motivation, and so on. And that is basically it. So what I'm saying is it's not only a a complete online process, but it's a mixture of online and offline process. So you, we are working on this to um, switch it to a full online process, but haven't been accomplished this yet. You still need to send the application documents. So um, about career prospects. So what I can assure you, all our graduates find work uh, with a bachelor or a master's uh, graduate. Uh, very common is that they become data scientists or data analysis. Um, this is a very common field after graduation and in all different kind of institutions. So in public institutions, in different kind of companies, we do have quite a lot of um, startups with uh, graduates who um, come up with their own company. So um, this is really something we can definitely assure you you will be having a job after graduation, right after graduation. There won't be even a long gap. Um, it is more about what you would like to do in the end. So you have two years to really find out in which field you would like to get settled and what you want to do afterwards. So I think for um, graduates in, in computer science, it's more about finding what you really like, not the question if you find something or not. So where you find uh, information about our master's program is, of course, our homepage. I can only recommend to have a look um, at our homepage. You find um, all the information about how to apply um, in short or the profile in, in brief, um, how our, or what our course or module structure looks like, a little bit about the mentoring program, exam structure, and so on. Of course, you can always contact me, but the homepage is definitely a good starting point um, to, to find information. <clears throat> and something about our department. So you, being a young university, just about 50 years old, so our department is equally quite young. As you can see, our case has been rearranged a little bit. Um, we are coming from information science, so originally coming from information science and headed towards classical computer science. And what you have nowadays, what you find in our department, is a mixture of um, both disciplines, which is nice because it gives you a whole variety of specialization options. And since 2010, we do have an English master program, so by now we are quite experienced. We have about 15 professors and 90 researchers, which means we have an excellent um, um, university staff study um, ratio, uh, which is good because in that way we can guarantee you um, a qualified supervision because one professor only hosts um, a couple of students. And this is really a benefit. Um, so if you just go to a bigger university with a big department where like that thousand or two thousand students, you cannot guarantee such a good um, supervision that we have here. Because there's always someone you can talk to, there's always someone who, can, who supervises you, um, who helps you, who um, yeah answers your question. And this is really true. This is not just a promotion from my side. 
So this is an overview of our research groups. We call them research groups here and not chair. This is um, yeah, just something about being a reform university. And as you can see from bioinformatics to computer graphics and media design and computer vision image analysis to human computer interaction and of course database and information systems. So we cover a lot. And like I said, all these research groups do amongst themselves uh, research in um, exploration, analysis, and visualization of great information space. So I already mentioned um, that you will be, uh, that you will have the opportunity to use our lab. So uh, while being a master student and while working on your master thesis, um, so this is an option. What we have is, for instance, our power wall, which is a you know, high resolution screen to visualize um, data, and which is um, a lab in our research group data analysis and visualization. Then our um, media room, uh, which is the lab um, in the human computer interaction research group, uh, where you find multiple input and output devices, which can be uh, simultaneously used and combined um, to, yeah, to have like multi-modal interactions and things like this. So then our power bike. So if you're interested in optimizing training plans and sports informatics, then this might be a project that is interesting for you. And um, our computer vision lab is um, a lab in the computer vision and image analysis research group, which is, um, yeah, they extract data out of uh, pictures and analyze them. And uh, another lab would be our immersive lab, which is quite uh, new uh, from our computational life science group, which is also um, a 3D simulation of biological data and data analysis and visualization. And our eDavid, uh, which you can find in our computer graphics and media design research group, which is our painting robot and quite famous in Germany. So much about our laboratories and um, technical facilities um, besides um, our study programs and study structures where we do have also some um, celebration party events. Um, we have our annual Christmas celebration and of course we do have our graduation ceremony, but also our barbecue, um, which is organized by our students council and um, also sometimes end of semester party. So we do not overall hope, do not only cover the study part, but also the um, leisure time part. So try to make you feel comfortable and welcome as much as possible. So there's a lot of going on. And if you're interested in what to do in the university, you could also um, have a look at the other webinars about the University of Constance. So if you have questions after that, feel free to contact me. You can see master.inf at uni-constance.de is my contact address, and I will be happy to answer all your questions, which we, which we will do right now. But also afterwards, feel always free to contact me.